Thank you, Zoom. Appreciate you. Um, guys, let's go ahead and get this thing started. Um, I just want to first of all say I appreciate you guys. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon for me. Some of you guys, it is literally Monday morning, 4, 5, 6 a.m. You guys are here uh, tuning into the call wherever you're at throughout the world. I just want to extend my gratitude and say thank you guys for being here um, for the next few minutes because I promise you this call we do once a month. For those, if, if this is your very first time uh, experiencing a team call like this, or maybe you've been on before, you know the you know the drill, you know the routine. Um, these calls are extremely powerful because it's more of an intimate setting. Um, it gives you guys the opportunity to really get an insider look, um, you know, at really the the platform, the back office. A lot of the most frequently asked questions will be handled on this call, and uh, really giving you guys a sense of clarity and direction. Uh, moving forward. So I want to kick it off by first off saying, uh, for those that don't know, my name is Abigail Poston, 27 years young out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And before we get into everything, guys, I just want to shout out um, in the chat box, if everyone could shout out maybe what you're using inside of the academy, uh, whether it's, you know, a specific academy, FRX, HFX, DCX, e-commerce, you know, you're building the business, uh, maybe a strategy that you're, you're taking advantage of, or an educator that you've been plugging into consistently? What have you guys been using? What's been you know working for you? What have you guys making progress with? Let's see, we got DCX, Brevin on the line. Let's go, let's go. We got Adam, baby, HFX. Nico's using DCX. Caitlin up in here with HFX. Uh, Gallo uh, using DCX. Jordan using DCX, building the business. Let's go. Tyler just got started last week. Let's go, DCX and HFX. Mikey G out here in AZ using HFX with Millie, Jake, my cousin, HFX, Millie Mills, Rachel, HFX, FRX, Alex is using Cobain, Swipecoin and Fibs, yup, let's go, uh, DCX, Cobain, yes, let's get it, Fernando's using DCX, Eric's using HFX, DCX, Rachel from my high school using HFX, uh, Bobby Boucher using Swipecoin, let's go, and uh, Tony is using FRX, HFX, and Camille. Have not heard of Camille. That's awesome. And then Jacques is using Millie Mills. Awesome, guys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Um, there's a lot of powerful opportunity in front of you. The biggest thing is just being able to take advantage of what's in front of you. And so, guys, really the purpose and the goal of today's call is to ensure, number one, you're on track to hitting your goals. And number two, making the most of your membership. Okay, there's a lot, I'm just going to be honest, there's a lot that I'm Academy has to offer. Um, and I know when you first get started, you're kind of given a lot of information, a lot on your plate um, to be able to tap into and take advantage of. And uh, the biggest thing, guys, is having a plan of not only what to do, but where you're going. Okay, and so we, we need to have a plan. We need to make sure that we're acting on our plan um, and ensuring that we're actually being able to go back and review uh, you know, the things that we're doing. So we're on track, we're making the necessary adjustments moving forward. So um, the hope of this call really, guys, is to, to really build your belief, give you a sense of clarity and direction um, to make this happen for yourself. Okay, you're in this for yourself, but never by yourself. And I want to say this one line, as you guys are taking notes, you can write this down. Um, this whole thing, guys, is about personal accountability. And uh, I, it's, it's funny, because I was reading uh, the other day, that most people do not fear um, you know, being successful or creating success. Uh, they actually fear the commitment that goes behind it, okay? They fear the responsibility that comes with being successful. And uh, I want you to take initiative and inventory as we go through this call and reflect on some of your notes um, after this call is over and recognize that in order to achieve and create the results that you want in your life, guys, um, it's gonna be up to you. If it's to be, it's up to me. You have to recognize, you can write this down, you set the pace for your success, okay? Yes, I Am Academy offers you the opportunity of really being able to come in in your first day, your first week, getting involved with our live sessions and the educators are gonna do their best to tell you what to do and when to do it. But at the end of the day, it is up to you to show up to those sessions. It is up to you to take personal accountability of, you know, am I actually making progress? Am I actually showing up? Am I staying consistent? And I wanna talk about three characteristics before we really get into, you know, how to navigate the IM Center, which I believe most of you guys know how to do, but I want to refresh her because, again, there's a lot that's offered here, and you want to make sure that you are aware of, of what is in front of you. Guys, if you want to take note on this as well, um, life is all about breaking new levels of awareness, and that's why I choose to show up to calls like these on a Sunday afternoon, um, 
you know, or show up to local events that we have in the area or show up to go live sessions throughout the week at my scheduled time uh, and so on and so forth, because I recognize that life is all about breaking new levels of awareness. And if, it, if it's to be, it's up to me. You set the pace for your success. So guys, three main characteristics that I want to talk about. And then I'm going to go into three things that I've, I've personally seen through experience and I've learned from my mentors that, um, that either hold you back or propel you forward. Okay. So three main characteristics, you can write this down. Um, you have to recognize in yourself. And again, personal inventory, take accountability for your own success, for your own progress. But number one characteristic that I've seen in every single successful person, you probably have seen it as well is being coachable. Okay. That's number one, being coachable, being coachable guys is really just being able to follow instructions. What is your willingness to change? What is your willingness um, to maybe give up something to grow up. And it's not something that's uh, a forever thing. You know, maybe, maybe you give up going out on the weekends because you know that you spend money that you probably don't have or money that could be going into your trading account or money that could be going into your crypto portfolio or money that you could probably be putting back into your membership. Okay. Maybe that's something that you temporarily give up. I'm just giving you guys an example. Okay. Um, whatever it may be. So being coachable is if, if your mentor, if the person that enrolled you, if, if your go live educator, whoever you're listening to guys, and, and you can take this down as well, whoever you're listening to and learning from is determining um, what kind of actions that you take. It's determining the level of belief that you have for yourself. So it's very, very important that you are paying attention to who you're listening to. So being coachable guys, whoever you're, um, you know, you're learning from, you're listening to, are you paying attention? Are you following their instructions? It's not deviating from the plan. It's saying, you know, X, Y, Z plus X, Y, Z, you're following those instructions. So number one is being coachable. Okay. What is your teachability level? Number two is your hunger and burning desire. Okay. I can tell you right now, the starting point to all achievement is a burning desire. That's why you guys, I believe you're on this call today. You have some sort of fire, um, you know, in, in the pit of your stomach, in your gut, in your whatever. And, and you have a desire to go out and create the success that you, that you want in your life, but maybe you just need a little bit of a spark. Maybe you just need some fuel. Maybe you need some logs thrown on your fire. And that's what these calls do um, is to help you raise your vibration, raise your frequency and elevate that burning desire for yourself. Cause I get it guys. It's hard. Sometimes like we're going through our process, we're going through our journey and uh, it can get lonely sometimes, right? We're by ourselves, we're whatever. Um, and doubts start to creep in, you know, our belief starts to go down a little bit. Okay. Whatever it may be. So it's always important to recognize what is my burning desire? What is my hunger level for greatness and, and for success? Whatever that looks like for you, my, my success, um, and what I see is going to be different than somebody like Caitlin and somebody like Alex and somebody like Rachel. Okay. Whatever it is. So you have to define what does that look like for you? And then what is your desire level around that? Okay. And desire level goes back to being coachable. Are you willing to do whatever it takes to create the success that you want? Okay. So being hungry, being, uh, and having a burning desire. And the last thing guys is being resourceful. And this is a word, um, that I believe is not talked about enough. Uh, but it is being resourceful. Okay. You could have all the information you want, your, your mentor, your sponsor, your, your go live educator, whoever you're tuning into, whatever it is, could give you the whole blueprint, the whole blueprint. Okay. Your plan of action. But if you're not taking advantage of the resources that, in, that are in front of you, the tools that you have access to, um, none of it's going to like, no, no success is going to come from that. So just be very, very mindful. Are, am I being resourceful? I know Tony Robbins said, it's not a lack of resources, um, that matters, but it's the lack of resourcefulness. So those are the three things, guys, being coachable, having a hunger and a burning desire, and then being resourceful. Make sure that you guys are taking inventory of that for yourself, holding yourself accountable to those standards, because um, I promise you, you are the lid on your success. And if you're building a team and you're helping you know, other people and you want to um, build your leadership, you are also the lid on those around you. Okay. So that's mindset going into this three main characteristics that I've seen personally for myself from experience and also from my mentors that I learned from and I listened to. Those are the things that they've adopted and it shows. Okay. So uh, what I want to go into next guys, and again, this is all going to help you kind of set the tone, set the, set the expectations for what this really is and, and where you're going. Um, because I think sometimes we can get started in something like this, you know, whether it's uh, just a, a quick example, whether it's, you know, maybe you're getting a gym membership and it's been a long time since you've been to the gym, or maybe it's your first time going. Uh, a lot of times I know people will get gym memberships like the, the beginning of the year. And why is it by January 14th, most people, you know, stop going to the gym. 
okay? Because most people, the, the first thing that I want to go into is commitment, okay? Most people have what we call an IQ date. And I'm not talking about how smart you are, okay? It doesn't matter. Your intelligence, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is most people have an IQ date, an I quit date, okay? And this is the first part, guys, is commitment. So write this down, commitment. Most people get started and they have a preconceived idea of what this is and how long something should take for them to see the success or the amount of money or the results or the goals that they have inside their head. Guys, that's not how this works. That's not how life works. I'm not even talking about trading. I'm not even talking about building a business. I'm not even talking about your e-com store. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about anything great in life is going to take time. You have the opportunity when you come into this to leverage strategies and tools that we're going to talk about here in a second, like the Swipe Coin Scalper, which has been killing it, like Swipe Coin the app which if you caught that BTC movement of over 2000 pips, yeah, you would be up. Uh, platforms and tools like HFX, Cash Trap. That thing has been killing it. If you just stay picky and patient enough, yeah, you're gonna get your bag. Yeah, you're gonna compound your account. Tools like the DeLorean, you know, if you're, if you're using FRX, uh, the Forex side, okay? There's so many opportunities for you to come in here and, and be able to leverage tools to tell you what to do and when to do it. But here's the thing, you have preconceived expectations of what this is and how long it's going to take you to create a result for yourself or create the, 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 the design result that you have in your, in your mind. And I'm not saying you're never going to get there, but maybe it's not going to happen in your first 30 days. Okay. Uh, maybe it's not going to happen in your first 90 days. Guys, people are coming into this like, you know, they're throwing stuff on the wall. And if, it, if the shoe fits, guys, take inventory of it. Don't get mad about it. Go do something about it. Okay. Um, cause this was me. I came in and I was like, you know, I'm going to quit my job in, in my first two months. That's what I got started fall of October, 2016, literally going into November. And by the end of the year, going into January, I was like, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to do this, this and that. And it just didn't happen. And I had, I didn't have the right expectations. And I think a lot of times we get discouraged. We get frustrated because we set expectations around things, um, that just don't make sense. Okay. And I'm, and I'm willing to do the work without certain expectations being held because we cannot set expectations on things that we cannot control. I cannot control, for example, when, when somebody gets started in this business, I cannot control certain things. I cannot control the market. I can only control my due diligence, my practice on the charts, my back testing, okay? Putting in the work, putting in the hours to make sure that I actually hit the results that I want. So IQ date guys, um, everybody has one. Everybody has an expiration. You have to ask yourself, what is yours? And you need to eliminate it because if you really do believe that your life deserves so much more than just maybe you're working a nine to five that you don't like, or maybe you only have one stream of income, which is a very dangerous place to be. And you know that you need to move to the right hand side of the cash flow quadrant. Guys, if you don't know what that is, go look up Robert Kiyosaki, number one personal finance book, Rich Dad Poor Dad. He talks about this, of how you can't just trade your time for money forever. That's not a formula to create wealth or any type of freedom for yourself. Everybody on this call wants something more in their life. They want some sort of financial increase, but the only way to do that is by transitioning yourself to the right hand side and getting money to work for you so if not this then what you're going to quit this again and go do what okay so really think about that for yourself and i want to talk about one more thing with commitment um, is we commit and this is a personal experience for me for those that don't know i went to school at arizona state university out of state tuition for four years and i committed myself to going to school and uh studying at the time biology okay i got a degree in biology studied genetics did lab work did research did inter internships i did all the whole nine yards i did everything that i was supposed to do um and i got out and got myself on our case student loan debt long story short who we are we're not there no more okay but what i'm saying is we commit ourselves whether it's school or maybe a, a trade that we're learning for a, a trade school or whatever it is okay a certification we commit ourselves to specific things for a long duration long period of time two to four years, some, some people even six plus years. If you guys know Dr. Josh Lee, he went to school for eight plus years to become a doctor, okay? And number one, we're not getting paid by our university. Uh, we get paid here, we get to get paid here for literally half, half a fraction of the cost, okay? Three-figure investment to compound into multiple four, five, six, seven plus figures. It's a no-brainer. So I want you to just think about and gain new perspective on this call that we commit ourselves to different things all the time, um, but you know, why can't we commit ourselves to this? So I tell everybody that I personally work with, if you can't give it a minimum, honestly, I say six, but it's really not six guys. You can't give yourself enough time to really compound um, what you have, but I say 12 months, okay? If we, if we can go two to four years at school, we can for sure go 12 months here, okay? And if money is the issue of why you can't, that's the reason why you've got to, 
That's the reason why you need to. And go go break even. Go get a free membership. The, the, the opportunity at hand allows you to go get a free membership by sharing this with two people. Or go build a residual income, which is what all your influencers, entrepreneurs, rappers, singers, celebrities, athletes do anyways. They create a residual income and move that money into investments. It's like they don't clock in to make money. They do this. So anyways, guys, commitment. Going back to this, I hope you guys are getting value because I'm just going off right now and giving you guys what's on my heart. But I want you to understand, people don't, co Curtis Cobain said this on his call yesterday or the day before if you guys listen to it he said people don't realize how much money people put up to be a part of high ticket wealth conversations i'm giving you guys perspective right now because people will literally put up multiple five six figures go listen to a session from yesterday he said but people will put up multiple five and six figures just to get a seat at the table to have these conversations and not only have them, but listen in, learn from people that, that have the information, okay? So 200 bucks a month ain't nothing compared to what the, what the successful people do. And you've gotta be up to pace. You've gotta be ahead of the curve while everybody else is doing what they're doing. You've gotta be 10 steps ahead, okay? And I wanna just give one example. Um, shout out to Alex for letting me share this with you guys. Uh, but Alex, for literally before she got started with trading, she was paying, this was straight out of college, okay? She was literally came right out of college and she started doing this. Alex was paying, this is just perspective here, but Alex was paying about $700 a month for 12 months for access to pre-recorded videos that were put out every week, okay? But there was no strategies, no tools, or no live sessions. Can y'all imagine? And it wasn't even trading. It was, uh, I think it was like SEO, something like that, okay? But she was putting out 700 bucks a month for 12 months to just get access to pre-recorded videos. Videos that were already recorded that they put out a couple times a week. No strategies like we have, no tools, no live sessions, no chat, no interaction. Y'all, y'all, we're spoiled, okay? This is a steal. If you understand traditional business, you'll understand that this is kind of a joke, okay? So I um, just wanted to talk about that. And then the next thing, guys, is self-talk. And this is probably one of the most important things that we could probably have a conversation about on this call right now, okay? What is your self-talk? This is number two, um, and it really has to go into your circumstances. Type a one in the chat if, uh, if you've ever let your circumstances dictate your actions, dictate your attitude, dictate your mindset. Type a one in the chat if you've ever let your circumstances dictate you. I'll type a one. Of course, I, feel, I think we all have. If you haven't, uh, you're probably in denial. It's all good, okay? So your self-talk is important. So, and I wanna read you a couple of things um, that I, if you guys know, I talked about this with the leaders yesterday um, or the day before, whenever it was, but uh, if you guys know who Ryan Serhant is, he was on Million Dollar Listing New York. And uh, I know he does real estate, but I love his mindset. And he talks about, um, he, he said, he basically says he doesn't believe in circumstances. Why? Because everybody has problems. Everybody has life situations that happen to them. Yes, I understand there's, there are exceptions. Like, you know, if, if there's a, a passing in your family or if you, you know, you lose your job, I get it, okay? Things like that. Yes, you need to take inventory. You need to do what you got to do. But he said, if you cannot change your circumstances, you've got to be able to change your energy. Write that down. If you cannot change your circumstances, you've got to be able to change your energy, okay? And he said, you have the ability to change the positive energy that you bring to the table. And I want to ask you guys, how do you elevate your energy? You're like, okay, I'll be cool. Like, I could change my energy, but like, how? I like, you know, your attitude shot, your mindset shot, your perspective shot um, at the time that something's happening to you, okay? I can give you multiple different stories as well as I'm sure you guys could as well, um, it's the things that happen where you're just like, your focus is completely distracted. You're so focused on what's going on in front of you that you don't recognize that one, it's probably a, just a test, probably just testing you, number number one. Um, but number two, it's there to prepare you. It's there to, to really see what you want more, okay? And I'll talk about that in a second, but how do you elevate your energy, okay? Okay, cool. If we can't change our circumstances, but we can change our energy, but it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. Everything's hard. How do you elevate your energy? By building your belief, by building what's going on inside of you, okay? What's, what's dictating and controlling your actions? It's your belief. It's your perspective. And you guys can write this down. Whatever you focus on grows. So what are you focusing on, okay? I'll give you some examples to help you build your energy, aka your belief, okay? So when you, it's, it's just personal development, guys. You can change your energy by understanding and being aware of how to do that by building your belief, by building your personal development. And some ways that you can do that is show up to go live where you can tap in and get proximity to seven and eight figure mentors in the largest financial markets in the world. Keep showing up to calls like these. Tonight 
at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, we have a Sunday night weekly call with DCX Go Live educator Mike Sotero, Chairman 25, multiple six-figure earner on a monthly basis and a seven-figure earner, period. Trust me, I was, in, I was at dinner with him when he was in, in Arizona. Trust me, uh, you don't want to miss these calls. But how many of you guys show up to these calls? How many of you guys know about these calls? Well, you're going to know about them after this call, but showing up to calls like these, showing up to events, local events in your area, meetups that you guys have. And the most important event that you could be at literally in the next month is SummerSlam. How many of you guys are going to SummerSlam? Okay, you say you want to be successful, but don't let your excuses, don't let your circumstances be the reason why you don't go to things like this. Let that be the reason that you have to go. Guys, you keep doing the same thing you've always done. You'll always get what you've always gotten. This is a line that I was reading earlier today, but listen to this. Whatever is going on in your reality is just a reflection of what's going on in your mind. Whatever is going on out here is just a reflection of what's going on in your mind, okay? Your perspective, how you are seeing things, because how you see things determines what you see, and what you see determines what you do, which is leading you to the result that you're getting in your life. So if you want to change a new result, you've got to start changing the way that you see things, and the way that you see things, guys, is, can be changed by jumping on calls like these, by doing your due diligence and personally developing yourself. As a man thinketh, so is he, okay? So what's your self-talk? that internal dialogue that you have about yourself and the world around you. That's, that is what's dictating what you do and your results. And I can guarantee you guys, the last thing I'll say on, on, um, on self talk, but I can guarantee you, if you're not happy with yourself in your life, if you're not happy with your results, if you're not happy with the progress that you're making, that you want to see, I can promise you it's simply because you're not being consistent and you're most likely allowing your current circumstances to control who you're being and what you do instead of you taking control of your circumstances. Again, going back to, you can change your energy. Problems happen to everybody, but it's how you respond to those problems that matters and actually determines what happens next, okay? This is so much more than just you coming in here and making a quick buck. And as soon as you recognize that, you can relieve that IQ date that you have in your mind, and you can actually go out and get the bag. You can actually start to see the compound effect work on your account, and you can take note on this. Your income will never surpass your mindset. If you just understand that, you will understand that this is a process, that you've got to work on you. Because the results that you're not, the results that you are, you are not seeing in your life is, de is determined on your mindset, okay? So if you're not seeing the results that you want, go back and check your mindset. Go, go back and check your belief. Go back and check the picture that you see um, in the world around you, okay? And the last thing, guys, number three is vision that I want to talk about really quick, okay? Sight, but no vision. This is how people operate on a regular basis. They're operating based on what they're seeing in their life, okay? Do you see with your eyes or do you see with your belief slash your vision? Ask yourself, do you see with your eyes or do you see with your belief um, and your vision? Great leaders and successful people are always speaking about where they are going. Listen to the conversations that you have, not just with your peer, with your core group, with uh, you know whoever's in your inner circle in your life right now, but ask yourself, what's the conversations like with myself, okay? Because most people are just talking about what they see, okay? Um, but we want to be able to do, and I'm going to give you an example, is talk about and be able to speak life into where we're going, our vision. That's the separator. That's the great separator from those that actually get ahead and those that stay the same, if not go backwards. Guys, listen to this example, okay? I want you to think about when you open up, and I know everybody's bank account's different. I'm just giving an example, okay? And I hope that where you're at right now is not where you want to stay. It's not where you want to go. But let's give an example, okay? You open up your bank account. You open up your trading account. You open up your back office. Um, and most people, since they operate based on what they see, not based on where they're going, whatever you're seeing in your bank account, your trading account, your back office right now is going to show you your future because you focus on what you see. You base your future based on what you see. Guys, you could have $100 in your bank account right now, your trading account, your whatever, um, but you got to understand that that's not your future. How many of you guys can flip the script? Because it's all about what you, your picture, okay? Your image, your self-image of yourself. And this kind of all these tie in together, but I'm just giving you guys a, a narrative here really quick because I want you to recognize and become aware of how are you seeing things? Do you base your future, who you're becoming based on what you see right now? Oh, you know, I have $100 in my bank account, so I'm broke. Well, you're always going to be broke. That's why this company is so powerful because if you look at the name, I am, whatever you say after I am is who you are becoming, is who you are. So I am broke. Yes, you are. You just said you are. 
So stop looking at, you have to stop looking at the things that you see as concrete, as set in stone, as where you're going. Guys, the difference maker between those that are ahead and are successful and creating the life that they want versus those that are not, or just getting by and just settling and just getting, you know, getting through the day or whatever it is, is because of the way that you see things. And maybe this is a little over some people's heads right now, but just go, you can go back and watch the recording, but just repetition is everything guys. But I need you to understand that your vision is not determined on what you see right now. Okay. It is based on your, um, uh, it's not based on what you see right now, based on your situation. It is based on your belief. And I want to ask you guys, if your belief isn't up to par with that future version of yourself, how are you building your belief? Because if you aren't building your belief, then it's going to be very, very difficult to change what you see. And again, this goes full circle. You can plug into the campfire. We say be around the campfire. It's warm over here. Every time you step away, you're going to get cold. You're going to doubt yourself. You're going to, you're going to think that this is never going to work for you. Of course not. You're talking to the wrong people. You're talking to yourself, and yourself has only gotten you to where you're at in your life right now. Okay. So, guys, in, um, in closing those three parts, I want to dive in and just share my screen. And uh, we're going to bring up three individuals after this that are going to share a little bit about their testimony, their journey, their story so far. I promise you that is the most, that's probably going to be the most powerful part of this call. And I'm saving them uh, last so we can get to this information. But I want to be able to share my screen with you guys and show you um, the academy, the platform, so that you know uh, how to navigate everything, how to make the most of what's in front of you. Because I don't think a lot of you guys realize that I'm Academy offers five lanes of income, five different streams of income that you could take advantage of, okay? How many of you guys understand or recognize that the average millionaire has seven different streams of income? But I wanna tell you guys this um, as well, they don't go from, they don't go and do real estate and, uh, you know, and trading and, and I can't even think of all the different stuff. They don't go from different things. They, they master one skill and then they move into, uh, and then they diversify and then they transition. Okay. Right now, guys, you have the opportunity. I take the same strategy I know from crypto and I put it into my Forex account. I can put it on any chart. Okay. So that one stream of income, I can turn into two, three different streams. And I'm going to show you that on this call. So let me share my screen really quick. Um, how many of you guys drop a, drop a two in the chat is, uh, if you guys are getting some value, if you're with me still, uh, hopefully I'm not just going on a tangent. You guys are actually getting something from this. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. How many of you guys know somebody that's not on this call that should be on the call? Drop a three in the chat. How many of you guys know somebody that's not on this call that should be on this call? You heard something and you know, man, this person should have been here. Type a three in the chat. Could be on the team or not. All right, let's go. Appreciate you guys. All right, five lanes of income. I'm Academy offers five lanes of income. And this is, uh, this should be super familiar to everybody. It's back office. Y'all know what this looks like. You guys log in here. <laughs> okay, so when you guys are here, there's really three levels, three pieces uh, of the Academy um, that offers different education for you to tap into. Um, and I'm not gonna go through everything, guys. It's not gonna be like a presentation, um, but I do wanna give some, per some perspective and some expectations of what this is, okay? Number one is uh, choose an academy, okay? Some of you guys mentioned you're looking at Forex, HFX, crypto, the ECX side, building the business, whatever. Um, some of you guys are using the Elite. For me, guys, the Elite, I use DeLorean for Forex, I use Cash Trap for HFX, and I plug in and use uh, Cobain and the Swipecoin Scalper for crypto, okay? Um, so whatever academy you guys choose, you have to make sure that within your first three days, some of y'all just got started. Your first three days, okay, you are going through the Academy videos. These videos, you should be able to knock out within your first few hours. If you're an overachiever, you could literally bang this out in your first two hours of getting started. Doesn't matter which Academy, okay? They're all, they're all about the same in size. And for DCX guys, they are in the process of building a new um, crypto Academy. So if you know the Swipecoin site, you can just go there and watch those crypto videos, okay? Um, but you need to go through these videos first. It's going to build your foundation, build your awareness for the market, um, depending on which market you guys want to tune into. Okay. So if you're an overachiever, you should be able to bang this out your first day. Um, if, if, you know, you have a big, big, uh, crazy schedule, your kid's schedule is, you know, is your, is your schedule, whatever it is, it may take you up to three days, five days max. You don't want to stay comfy in these videos. Okay. It's just to build a foundation. You don't need to know everything about everything. Just get a little bit of repetition in there and then move on. Cool. So this is uh, this is part one, guys. Go through the academy. Part two um, of the uh, of the actual education that's offered is our live sessions. And everybody's like, you know, what happens next? This is where I'm at, guys. And most people, they should be. 
um, on a weekly basis. Okay. You establish a schedule for yourself. You choose that academy that you're rocking with. And then you're, what you're doing in here, guys, is you're finding an educator that works best for you. So whatever academy that you're rocking with, um, or for that day, for that time, you go to the channel guide and you find somebody. So let's say I'm going to go to HFX. Okay. I know a lot of you guys on this call, you mentioned that you do HFX. Some of you guys are watching Millie. Um, some of you guys, I know Duck, guys, I'm going to just show you guys this really quick. For those of you that are doing um, anything with Matthew Thayer and Cast Trap, and honestly, any of the strategies, they're, they're incredible for mindset. Um, again, what happens with your income? Your income will never surpass your mindset. So don't disregard what I'm saying right now. If you, want, if you notice that you're not seeing the results that you want, it's probably because you need to go back and fine tune that little mindset of yours, okay? So uh, what I recommend, especially if you're doing, honestly, I love the fact that they label everything, but if you're doing cash trap, guys, just, to, just so everybody knows, there's a video in here, right here, cash trap 3.0 um, point system explained. It's from June 21st of this year. This is one of the best videos. If you've watched this video, you understand this is probably one of the best breakdowns um, of cash trap that I've ever seen. Uh, I've, I've watched this multiple times. It's helped me literally go from just kind of like sporadically taking trades, taking way too many trades in a day, um, over leveraging my account and, uh, you know, just not hitting my goals, kind of breaking even, going under, uh, not being consistent to actually being consistent. And number one thing I believe is, has been helpful is being extremely picky in particular about my trades. And that's just, that's not just me, guys. You should see some of the conversations that I have with the team um, who participate with Cash Trap. They understand the power of being picky, okay? Being patient will pay if you understand that concept. So this video right here, for those that are wanting to do cash out, honestly, any of these are great, but this video right here, if you want a starting point, yeah, give that a watch. So um, Brandon Boyd, Dr. Josh Lee are incredible, but if you're watching Millie, you're watching them, um, the other guy I was gonna tell you about is Taylor Marks. He does cash trap. And then Matthew Thayer, he also does cash trap. And I know a lot of you guys like to tune into Ness, um, even Evan, I've had conversations. Evan's incredible. He goes live like all the time. So if you want somebody that's super active, Evan is probably a great educator. Um, so just to kind of recap guys so far for go live, multiple different languages. I know some of you guys on this call, you have um, different languages that you speak. So you can go through that. But the live sessions, three things that you're going to get out of them, guys, is what to do, when to do it, and why you're doing it in the first place. Okay. It's great when you first get started. It's great even for myself because I'm busy right? How many of you guys on this call are busy people with your schedule where you can literally choose a time throughout the week that you want to get paid and show up and the educators are literally going to tell you what to do, when to do it. It's like Simon says, you can put your right arm up, you can put your right arm up, okay? They're going to tell you we're going to buy USDJPY, you're going to buy USDJPY. It's, it's that simple, okay? It's simple. I didn't say easy. I said simple. You got to work on your mindset, cool? Um, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is, um, is the tools. So a lot of you guys don't know how to access the tools, Okay, go back to the IM Center, click on strategies. The IM Center is like the central hub to literally everything that the platform offers, okay? Um, so I always go there and uh, find what I need to. And I'll just say this as like a little tip. Um, I have everything bookmarked, okay? Everything right here is bookmarked. So if you wanna play smarter, I would just bookmark go live. I would just bookmark the strategy that you want, okay? So um, some of the strategies that I'll tune into, guys, let's say it's for Forex, um, you know, harmonics. I know some of you guys use harmonics. I know a lot of you guys, uh, some of you guys will use Gold Cup, okay? I know it's an app as well. Um, DeLorean, shout out to DLO, right? Did I say that right? DLO Nation, okay? DeLorean right here. So you can pull that up. You can bookmark it to your, to your page. Um, HFX, some of you guys use Liberty, okay? I know a lot of you guys um, will use Hourglass. This is where Cash Trap is located. You'll see it when you log in. Um, and, I, and I've gotten this question a lot, but Hourglass, guys, it's, uh, or sorry, HFX, you're still trading in the foreign exchange market. And the Forex market closes on Friday afternoon, um, I believe like 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So when the markets close, um, so, does the, so does the HFX market. So I've gotten questions of, you know, over the weekend, why is cash trap not up? Why is there no signals or why, why is there no trade alerts? It's because the markets are closed, guys. The, so just keep that in mind. Um, you can't trade Hourglass or HFX or whatever on the weekends. The market should be open in the next couple hours, and then you guys can tap into it. Cool. Um, let me see the chops. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. And then uh, DCX, guys. Okay. Uh, I personally use, I mean, Harmonix is incredible. I've definitely used that. The Swipe Coin app, download, download that on your phone. 
But the swipe point scalpers uh, strategy, I'm going to show you guys really quickly and how simple it really is to use it. This is where I personally make um, majority of my gains in the market. So swipe point scalper, just showing you guys where to find and access everything in an ECX. Um, it has its own strategies as well. I personally don't have these ECX, but if that's something that you want to do, talk with the person that enrolled you and uh, they can definitely share with you how to get, uh, how to get rocking with that. ECX guys is actually really, really powerful because the academy, the academy is very long um, in, in, in the best way possible because it's literally going to walk you through step by step um, how to build your own online store. Like Alex and I, we did it together last fall just for about 30, 45 days. And within our first month, uh, of not doing anything at all. I think we sold about 10 items in our first 30 days. And in our first week, we built um, our own online store from scratch. So it's possible you guys can do that. We were just, we just didn't want to commit time to doing it at that time because cryptos were down. We were putting so much money into the markets. I don't need to explain this to you guys. I'm just telling you uh, why we're not doing it right now, but we do plan to do it in the future. But if that's something that you want to commit to um, and actually create for yourself, you can definitely do that um as well so guys this is the swipe point scalper um this is for crypto so if you guys have access to dcx um or the elite you get access to this and i'm just showing you this really quickly because um i've gotten a lot of questions about this it's it's funny because like you guys know steve max steve max was even like yo the scalper like how how are you doing what you're doing and so it's pretty powerful and i was just like you just need to go watch cobain you just need to go watch cobain's fifth strategy go watch crypto picasso like same thing that we tell them guys is the same thing that we're going to tell you go back and watch the videos, go back and do your, do, do your due diligence. So um, it's funny because Ethereum, okay. We caught this sell uh, or sorry, we caught some, um, we caught it on Bitcoin. So I caught this really small, yeah, small, but really small sell on Bitcoin yesterday. Okay. I actually caught it at 34, uh, 400. So about right here. This was about a 400 pip move down super quick on a Sunday afternoon. I was like, yep, we're in and we're out. We're done. Okay. And everybody can read that. This says sell. This says buy. This is leverage trading on MetaTrader 4. And you're going to get a notification sent to your phone. If you have the swipe coin app, just download it on your phone, go to notifications and make sure that the swipe coin scalper alerts are on. They will send you alerts throughout the day. It is pretty frequent, but if you have your computer up, which I personally do, um, I'll just pull this up and I'll get ready for the, for the setup. So, just understand this, uh, it does take a little bit to learn the, the confirmations. Again, it's simple, it's not easy. You do have to put in the work, but once you know how to read this, like anything, this can work for you, okay? This buy down here, this is Bitcoin, um, pretty much the same as on Ethereum, but there was, a, there was a buy sell opportunity. I think it might've been this. Um, yeah, I got in at 2080 though. So I bought the market here. Again, guys, all I'm just showing you is, yeah, this buy down here, so this called out the buy the other day over the weekend, and we rode this buy opportunity from like 17, I think it was like 1780 all the way up. So I have two positions in. Guys, it's it's incredible. So I'm just showing you this for perspective purposes. If you just plug in and you learn the strategy, you start to see the market, how it's trying to teach you the patterns, you can really do a lot of damage here. So guys, the crypto market's incredible. Whatever academy you're choosing to rock with, stay, just stay committed, just stay consistent. If you need to watch this over again and go back to those three things that I talked about, um, definitely do so because it's gonna put you, put you in a position to actually win. Um, but I wanna just kind of uh, actually get out of the way really quick and I'm gonna pass it over um, to three individuals. We're gonna go one by one, couple minutes, nothing crazy, um, to just be able to really share with you guys their story um, you know, their journey so far, a little bit of, you know, what's been working for them. Why are they, why are they making progress? Why are they so excited about, you know, where they're at in their life and where they're going um, to give you guys that perspective and build your belief that, Hey, it doesn't matter where you came from, what you look like, where you're from, whatever the case is, you can come in here and actually really start to make progress um, and see the results that you want to hit your goals. If you just stay coachable, if you stay committed, we chose these individuals because they're coachable. They have a burning desire. Um, and I believe that they're resourceful uh, to creating the success that they want. So the first individual I'm going to bring up, um, Nico, if you are there, brother, I'd love for you to just kind of share with us for a little bit. He's out in California, um, crushing it with the crypto side. But brother, go ahead and uh, take it away. Uh, the floor is yours. Hey, what is up, everybody? How's going on a beautiful Sunday? Can everybody hear me? There we go. We see some we see some active people. All right, what's going on, everyone? Just want to share my story again. Thank you so much for being here today. Abby, thank you so much for the golden nuggets and everything coming in. 
We're getting fire in every single one of these calls just here to talk about a little bit why and where I got started. So pretty much from the start, I haven't been in this for too long. I've been in pretty much the trading scene since the beginning of January. Uh, back to where the GME GameStop is. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. Um, I saw the spike come up and I said, man, there is a, there's something, there's something with, this, with this investing and trading the whole market that you, know, you have to dig a little deeper into it. So I saw that, hit myself a little FOMO because I saw the article and said, hey, I actually read this two months ago before it even happened. So it pays to get plugged in, right? So for me, I really started because I came from a position where I said, hey, there's stuff going on. And I always thought that the financial markets were eventually going to be for me, but I really just didn't know how. And what I did was Tony said it best was I paid my tuition into the market. I, I tried to do the self step. I looked up the YouTube videos, tried to do it my own thing, trying to figure out the markets. And I'm sure as a lot of you know, when you get started, especially in something you have no idea what you're walking into, it's probably not going to be the best. So I did some research. I said, you know, I have an okay understanding of what I'm doing, but I don't know where I want to go or what I actually want to do with this, right? So I looked into my network of just people who uh, understand the business and Rachel introduced me to her mentors and the program a while ago. And that thought came back into my mind saying, hey, I know someone close to me that understands this market and the business who has been consistent and obviously has been, it, been in it for a while to where they're still talking about it, you know, a year or so later, a year or two years later, however long it may be. So for me, just getting that close relationship with someone to understand where you're getting started and making sure that whoever you're with is just going to excel you to wherever it is you want to be. So guys, if you're not tuning into any type of mentors, or if you're not plugging into these calls, we have to commit ourselves to something is better than nothing. Even if you're on here today, getting committed to at least even one, just to expose yourself into, like Abby said before, the excitement, the knowledge, just the different types of industries and marketplaces that are out there, something is going to fit for you. So for me, um, I tune in. If you haven't seen Mike's recent DeFi course, hey, I, I strongly recommend. Everyone likes Kurt Cobain. He's up on the up on the spotlight now. My biggest two, but the tools that I use the most is going back to the basics. Right? It's not Swipe Coin. It's not even the Academy. It's going back to a journal. My trading journal is literally my number one thing that's keeping me consistent and on pace to really where I want to be. And it's not saying, hey, look at my gains for the day. It's even wherever you want to be from the start or where even if you're in the middle of it, it catches you slipping and says, hey, are you still on track? No matter how far you are, being consistent and just looking at yourself and saying, hey, I've made these trades and what happened? I usually don't lose this much. Or, hey, did I do something weird? It keeps you on track to where you want to be, right? So that's really what keeps me excited is I see everyone in here and I see the same familiar faces, right? We see everyone coming in here. Everyone's talking about their journey every single week and everyone is still staying consistent. I've only been in here for a short time myself, but it's still the same amount of people and we're still talking about it and we're still learning from each other. And no matter what it is, an event, local, Zoom, whatever it is, whatever you need, someone is either there to help you or someone, is, or someone is there to help you be accountable, no matter where it is you want to be, right? So there's so much opportunity just with this in HFX, DCX. For me, it's a, it's a journey just to figure out, especially when you start, where you want to go and what you want to do and what's comfortable for you. And plugging into things like this is just the way to get started. Figuring out just yourself and pretty much getting that self-realization of where you just take yourself and getting your values and visions in place. Once you get that set in stone, get your discipline in check and we're in and the moon is yours. <laughs> let's go. Let's go guys. Drop some sevens in the chat for Nico. Appreciate you brother for coming on here and just sharing with everybody. Um, super, super powerful stuff. And the fact that you've only been in for, you know, a little over six months um, just goes to show that you've been consistent. You see this, you know, you see the long-term vision of everything. 
And uh, just don't give up, guys. Um, Nico's done a great job of just staying plugged in and staying consistent. So, bro, I appreciate you. Thanks so much for sharing. Um, guys, this next individual that I want to bring up um, is somebody that literally just got started about a month ago, uh, maybe a little bit over a month ago. Um, he's out in Shanghai, China, and uh, he is doing big things. It's like 4 a.m. in the morning or whatever time it is. So he's dedicated. He is committed, obviously, for being here on the call and stepping up and sharing with you guys. But again, he is somebody we chose to be on here because he's been he's been consistent. He's been coachable. He has a burning desire to create, uh, you know, real change in his life. And he's willing to do whatever it takes. So Gallo, brother, if you are here, go ahead and take it away. Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? Oh, it's very nice being here. So this is my first time in here, and I'm really excited about this. Oh, uh, my name is Galo. For everybody, who, for everybody who doesn't know me, and I'm a little bit nervous right now. <laughs> so basically, I just got started about a month ago with the academy, and so far it's been a great process. I'm, I've been learning a lot of new things, and I'm using the go live sessions with the Cobain beef strategy and everything. And I'm trying to apply those things to try to learn more and get, get a better understanding about the crypto market and everything. And yeah, I'm really excited for this journey. And I want to keep learning and go through these challenges and everything. So nothing too much to talk about. I hope to see you guys on the next call and um, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Jo guys, drop some sevens in the chat for Gallo. Super short, quick to the point. Um, guys, Gallo is super low maintenance. Like he'll literally just check in with me. We'll do check-in calls throughout the week. Um, but he's just doing his thing. Literally his first day, he like finished the academy. All right, what's next? All right, what's next? Like, bro, I'm so proud of you. Just stay consistent. We know we're gonna, you're gonna do big things. And uh, this is literally just the beginning um but cool guys so last individual we're gonna bring up on the call um is somebody who again really recently just got started within the last uh, 30 days somebody that uh we've been talking for quite some time and just finally uh was able to pull the trigger because he graduated high school was old enough to actually do this and uh just has been super coachable hungry inspiring uh since the beginning he got started and uh he's also rocking with the crypto side but Revan, brother, if you're on the line, I would love for you to come on and just share a little bit about you, why you're so excited, and where you are freaking going. What's up, everybody? Can you hear me? What's up? So my name is Brevin. I'm from North Carolina. I'm 18 years old. I just graduated high school. I've been in the academy for, I think it's about, about 30 days or something. Very, very, very new to the academy. Um, so I actually started, uh, I grew up on a dairy farm working there, you know, working every week, every day, getting up early, making a hundred dollars a week. And during that time, that's actually, you know, I was struggling. I'm like, at the time I was only 16, I'm struggling. I'm wondering where I'm going to go. You know, college wasn't the route for me. I didn't want to take that route. And I'm sitting there in the same trap that everybody is. What do we do? You know, you're going to work, you're miserable, you're not enjoying it. And at that point, Abby had actually gotten in contact with me and I got a message from her. And at first, you know, like she did, you know, with her uh, cold market strategy, I seen it. And from there, I got in contact with her. We built that relationship. Then, you know, she introduced to how it worked and everything. We actually even jumped on a call and she explained that you had to be 18 to get into the academy. So, you know, I put that on a back burner. And the biggest thing I learned is from just talking to her and learning a little bit about this, it opened more doors up. For me to get educated and start educating myself while I was there, even though I was miserable then, I knew that I, I had time. And so while I was there, I educated myself to build myself up to get ready to go to the next level. And the number one thing I learned was patience. So I was patient. And um, actually, pretty close to a year after that, I ended up getting into another job and starting a company with another guy. But I didn't have, you know, it was a roofing company. And I didn't have the experience when going out to sell, but patience paid off. I put in the time I marketed that company, established it on its online presence and everything like that. And that actually got the attention of a bigger company, which was the number one company for North Carolina and South Carolina. And I'm now the number one salesman at that company within six months of being there back about a year ago. 
So that's how patience and hard work led there. So I went from making a hundred dollars a week to five figures a month still in high school. And then like Abby was saying, you know, everyone has circumstances. We all have stuff that comes up. We all have things that happen that sometimes make us feel like we have nowhere to go. You know, we hit a brick wall. So at that point, something like that did happen this past year and I actually had to move out. But thankfully, you know, I had saved, I'd had done a little bit of investing at that time and I was able to, to move out and establish my home base, become my own person. So now graduated high school was very thankful, very blessed to be able to get into the academy. I'm doing DCX, um, Defy with Mike. That's a really big thing for me as well as Cobain, um, and another big thing that I'm very blessed about is being able to go to SummerSlam. So, you know, there's going to be tons and tons of wonderful opportunities there. I can't wait to go. It's, I'm blessed to be. Oh, no, we lost him. Brevin, if you're there, let us know. Wi-Fi problems. It's all good. It's all good. We'll see if he can come back on. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he's crushing it, y'all. As you guys can tell, drop some sevens in the chat for Brevin um, for coming on here and sharing with us. And uh, the one thing that uh, he talked about that I'm super, super glad that he actually did was he's going to SummerSlam and uh, 18 years old, ready to rock and roll, crushing it. Guys, get your ticket to SummerSlam if you have not already. Um, Brevin, if you're back on the line, let me know. You guys see him on the line. Let me know. Type in the chat. I'm back. I'm okay, back. go ahead and finish up. I don't, I don't know what happened. I think I lost my my connection went out right then. Um, but I'm back. But wrap up. It it was wrapping it up for me. So I'm gonna finish it up. If you haven't got your ticket to SummerSlam, get it now. You know, I look at it like this. It's I think the ticket they were on sale 200 200 dollars or something like that. But look at it like this. Would you rather go out, spend $50 a weekend? Even this even goes for the I am, you know, subscription. On average of someone going out, if you go out every weekend of the month, spending $50 for the entire weekend by going out in a whole month's time of four weeks, that's $200. So instead of going out, you could have put that money into something that's building your future, that's building you a ground base, a foundation that's going to allow you to build your platform. Because, you know, I look at it like this. I look at the pyramids, you know, you're building a foundation, but you can't get to the top without adding each block to build your way up there. So, you know, everything that you aspire to be, you want, you got to set goals to get it and um, have a dream and set a goal to accomplish that dream. So I'm going to keep moving, keep grinding, um, getting DCX. I love it. Uh, there's money to be made everywhere. And yeah, so I thank you, Abby, for letting me speak. And I hope to see you all at SummerSlam. Let's go. Let's go. I know you guys just dropped some sevens, but uh, drop, them, drop some more sevens. Let's keep the energy high. We're going to wrap up this call right now. Brevin, I appreciate you, bro. Um, and yes, like, uh, like he was saying, SummerSlam. I know somebody just asked in the chat. Uh, SummerSlam is the most important, biggest all-time event that you could ever get yourself in a room. Guys, we don't just talk about this. Like, we are about it. And I'm going to say this, and we're going to wrap up the call uh, with a giveaway because you guys are here. So don't go away. <laughs> um, but SummerSlam guys, I I've personally type in the chat. If you've been to an event, uh, type a one in the chat, if you've ever been to a, uh, an event with I am Academy and then just briefly type in just, just something small. Why, why you're going to that event, why you are going to that event. So everybody can see as I'm sharing this guys, I've been literally every event that the company has offered I've been to. And I can tell you right now, if you're, if you're, within your first six months of uh, being inside of the academy and you have not experienced an event, you are on borrowed faith. And this whole call was about setting the right expectations, was about setting the mindset, setting your perspective and the image that you've got to see to see the person that you're going to become in the future. Do you have vision of where you're going? Or are you basing what you see um, right now based on who you're going to become? Okay, guys, events, if I didn't go to my very first event, I don't think I would be here today. If I didn't go to my very first event, I don't, I don't believe that I could, I would even be here today because that first event guys, I, I was on probably a lot of what you guys are thinking right now. Do I have the money? Can I get time off of work? Yeah, I was working. Okay. Do I have the money? Do I have, do I have the opportunity to get off of work? Okay. Um, so many, so many other different factors, you know, life circumstances here, problems here, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
You can't let those things become your reality because you're cho- like whatever's going on up here is, is, is reflecting the reality that you're, that you're creating in your life. Guys, what I'm trying to say is you've got to make the decision to go because big decisions happen at big events. This is going to be an event, number one, you'll never forget. But number two, you'll walk away and you won't be the same person. I promise you. Every person that's ever been to an event um, and they understand the power of events, they're still here and they're thriving. Ask anybody that's in the chat right now. Okay. SummerSlam ticket. I'm actually going to be giving away a ticket um, in the next 24 hours, but the only people that qualify are those that are on this call right now. Cool. Um, but the thing I want to tell you guys is it's uh, so SummerSlam is going to happen in August, August 13th through 14th. The 12th is just registration. Okay. For those of you that need a clarity, the 12th is registration. The 13th, which is a Friday and the 14th, which is a Saturday is the event days. Okay. Um, what I would do if I were you, if money is the thing that you're thinking about, go, go, go drive Uber or Lyft a little bit more. Go like, guys, I'm just thinking about the stuff that I did. Go sell something in your house, in your apartment, in your whatever that somebody could buy for 200 bucks or a couple things. Go pick up a shift. Go pick up whatever. Go do whatever you've got to do to be here. And honestly, guys, go P600. Go break even so your monthly membership in August is free. The company gives you so many opportunities to win, but we're making excuses about it. Okay. If there's a will, if there's a will, there is a way. Or if there's a way, there's a will. Whatever the saying is. But you have to go out, go back to that coachability. What is your coachability level? We're right now giving you guys instructions, what you can do. Are you going to make excuses? Or are you going to make it happen? Guys, I'm going to give away a ticket in the next 24 hours for those that are on this call. And I'm going to say what, what the requirement is. And some of you guys are going to automatically say, oh, I can't do that. If you are automatically saying, oh, I can't do that, you, you are allowing yourself um, to have a cap on your life and what's possible, but you're already losing. If I'm just being real, I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything on this call. I'm not trying to be nice. I'm not trying to be your friend right now. I'm trying to empower you, but I'm also trying to give you perspective. If, because, um, because a lot of times what what can happen is we have these preconceived limitations and expecting and expectations on what can happen. And we're just going to allow that to be our reality. And that's always who you're going to become. So guys, um, to to close this call, the, the event stuff, we're going to drop in the chat right after this. And um, the person that I'm going to be giving away a ticket to, whether you already have your ticket or not, if you already have your ticket and you win, I would give it to your team and I'll do the exact same thing to your team or give it to a guest, give it to somebody that's been wanting to get inside the academy, um, who maybe can fly to Dallas or whatever, give it to them, whatever you want to do. But the first person to enroll somebody, okay, the first person to enroll someone in the next 24 hours, I was going to say till tonight. But I'll say, no, Alex and I, we talked 24 hours, okay? First person to enroll somebody in the next 24 hours, I'm giving you a free preferred ticket, okay? All you got to do is just get to Dallas, Dallas, Texas. You just got to get there. And we're going to talk about places to stay in just a second, uh, not on this call, but after. Um, But guys, go get your ticket. That's what we're going to do. The first person, drop it in the chat. We'll see it. First person to do so um, will win the ticket. And honestly, guys, even if you don't win, you still got to go. You still got to go. Okay. So guys, last thing I'm going to say is a weekly call schedule in the I am team telegram chat, the pin post at the very top, you will see um, an entire like uh, paragraph of things that you guys have. Those are all your resources. Okay. The launch I am site, which will basically break down a video that you can send to people who want more information. It will break down where you can go uh, to get your, you know, your first 24 hour videos. Okay. It has the SummerSlam ticket uh, uh, site in there as well. So there's a whole paragraph of, of information with all the resources and tools. And it also has the weekly call schedule, which I believe I need to update. Um, but I'll update it today. All of that's in there. Weekly call schedule tonight is one of the calls. Sunday night team called Mike Sotero does every single Sunday. Guys, mark this in your calendar. We talked about this on the leadership call yesterday. If it's not in your calendar, you're probably not going to do it. And if I, and my mentor, Mike Sotero said, I can tell you your future based on what you show me in your calendar. If it's not scheduled, I'm probably not going to do it. So I schedule in anytime we have something. This call, it was in my calendar, okay? Even though I was running it, it was still in the calendar, cool? Sunday night team call, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Make sure you guys are there. We always post the links. Just pay attention. And then the last thing, guys, if you are a Platinum 600 and above, um, you're in that P600 and above chat, where you have a call today at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, some of y'all are really close. You could get that done in the next three hours, and you can be a part of the conversation. Guys, people pay tens of thousands of dollars to have conversations in proximity to people that have the results they want. And you have the opportunity to essentially get it for free by getting paid and being a part of the platform. So guys, in closing, I appreciate you guys. I hope you got the value that you needed. 
And the biggest thing is uh, don't just get motivated on these calls. Don't, don't allow other people to motivate you. You've got to be disciplined enough to actually go out and take action. So take this information, take out what, at least one little nugget, one something that you got and go and apply it to make your week, make your month, make your year better than ever. So love you guys. I'll see you on the call tonight. And most importantly, I will see you in SummerSlam. Let's get it.